I started at the university in 1955 and retired in 1989. And from that time, I began as a professor of um, linguistics, and then became assistant to the dean because Dean Barker himself was a fantastic administrator in so many ways. And admittedly, did not like to write and did not like to spell. He always said that a person is really not capable of just one way of spelling words. He said, a good man can spell a word in three or four different ways. So he knew that I had my background in linguistics and he asked me to do writing for him. And as a result, we became very close friends for about 50 years as a result of that. Kenny, uh, I think, really truly loved uh, the university, uh, the School of Education, uh, and he stayed connected very, very strongly even after his retirement. He often was in my office uh, two, three times a week uh, just to say good morning or good afternoon or to bring a, a flower for my assistant or a uh, uh, some other news. So uh, he cared deeply, deeply about the university and uh, obviously about economic education. Uh, that was a passion for him. I came here in 1976. When I met him on campus, uh, he asked me, what do I see myself at when I retire? And I said to him, I see myself as a revered and respected professor. And he loved that answer because he didn't, I did not say I was climbing up the ladder to be a dean, vice president, or president. He, he liked that idea that, at least in my mind, uh, I would stay until I retired as a professor. And that's just what I went and done. So my relationship with, with Dr. Barker started soon after he arrived on campus in the late 60s. What, the thing that he really, really did that, that I assisted him with in the very beginning was to uh, contact black students who were undergrad students and to meet with the, to meet with the dean of the College of Education, Dr. Barker, and talk about some of the issues that were important related to the uh, turbulent times that we were in. I believe that the mission of the um, Center for Economic Education is extremely important. The National Education Council did a survey and 52% of our young teens um, are not literate in financial education. And so I think it's really, really important that the center is there and available to teachers to help them develop curriculum, provide resources so that they can get our young people up to where they need to be um, when they graduate from high school. The center's mission um, of educating K through 12 educators is very important today because our students need to have the valuable information of pers personal finance, um, for their future. The resources that educators receive, the workshops that I've attended, they have prepared us with the information that students need in order to be prepared financially for their future. The last time I saw him, uh, and it does represent who he was. The last time I saw him, he was on the floor of the basketball court before a uh, zip game. And what he was doing was with a big smile on his face, and this was at the end of his career, and I don't even think he was a dean anymore. But with a big smile on his face, he was directing the pep band and making them play his favorite tunes from the 40s. 
It was a hopeless project for the young uh, pep band uh, kids he was working with, but it was, it was just so Dean Barker. It was just joy and fun and a little ridiculous. And uh, that that's kind of sums it all up. I think one of the things that so very much endeared uh, Kenny to both uh, myself and my wife, uh, we would see him always. Uh, he, he was just uh, uh, extremely dedicated to attending all athletic events and uh, particularly in basketball, uh, if there was a referee call against one of our players, he would holler out, but he was innocent. Uh, and he would do that uh, just so, so uh, enthusiastically and vigorously that we came to know him uh, uh, as, uh, as he was innocent. <laughs> but, you know, obviously uh, there's so many other things uh, his presence around the university uh, was always felt uh, uh, in the community as well. Uh, but again, uh, that that sense of humor and and a, an approach to uh, diffusing obviously a a difficult situation for our players. Uh, uh, Kenny too was innocent. Dean Barker should re be remembered as a visionary, a man before his time, and and complex, as well as deeply committed to, to the community, to the university, to students, and basically to, uh, to our society. I really had a tremendous amount of regard and respect for him, and he would be so happy now to know that what he did as a, as a minuscule part of trying to get the center together some 50 years ago. Uh, today is a thriving portion of the university and helping students to understand what the entire concept of economic education is. So he would be pleased.